Little Derek woke up early on Christmas Day. He was very excited as he checked the big stocking that he'd hung at his bedside for Santa to find. But there was no gift inside, just a paper with directions. Leave your room. As soon as you come out of your room, turn left and walk past your parents' bedroom. Take the stairs down to the ground floor. Enter the kitchen to your right. Find the old cookie box on the shelf above the dustbin. Look inside. Derek leaves his room. He walks through the corridor past a closed door. Derek walks down the stairs to the ground floor. He turns right to enter kitchen. Derek looks for the old cookie box. Derek is very excited as he opens the cookie box and peeks inside. But there was no gift inside. Just a map that looked somewhat like this. Derek thought to himself, So this is to be a treasure hunt. He decides to follow the directions shown by the dotted blue line on the map. From the kitchen door, Derek walks straight in north direction towards the vegetable garden. From there, he turns west to walk past the flower beds to the swing. From the swing, he turns left and heads south to the shed. As soon as Derek reaches the shed, he opens the door and looks inside. There it is! Derek's Christmas present. Hello. A shiny blue bicycle. Maps are special drawings of a place showing how it would look if seen from above. This map of the physical features of India shows the land in several colors. These represent the different heights of the land. The sea too is shown in different shades of blue. These tell us how deep the sea is. Beside the map, you can see an information box. This is the legend. It is the key that unlocks the meaning of all the colors. Maps also have symbols. These are special signs that have a meaning. The meaning for each symbol is given in the legend which helps to understand the maps. The directions cross show you the four main directions. Four other directions, northeast, southeast, southwest, and northwest lie between the four main directions. We should be able to tell what the actual size and shape of the land is by looking at the map. The scale indicates the connection between the actual size of something and the size that has to be drawn. Maps help us to understand what the land looks like when seen from above. They tell us the height of the land and the depth of the sea. They also tell us about natural features such as rivers or lakes. They tell us about people-made features such as roads, railway lines, cities and towns. Special maps tell us about such things as the temperature, rainfall, agriculture, industry, or wildlife of a place. Maps also help us to calculate the distance between places.